Finally tonight, our person of the week. Long before yellow ribbons came to stand as reminders of American men and women at war, there was another symbol displayed by military families. Tonight, we recognize a man who wants to bring that symbol back. I wanted to honor the kids that uh, have the moxie to stand up for the country and go and enlist. Rod Robeson is a former Marine who served more than 40 years ago. Today, you can find him humming away on his sewing machine, creating service star banners for the families of those who currently serve. I was interested in procuring a blue service star banner for a friend of mine who had enlisted. When I went to the store, the store, all they had available were banners that were produced in uh, Taiwan. And uh, they weren't really something I would have given to a friend. A blue star banner means a family has a loved one in the military. A gold star signifies a loved one killed in action. It's actually a military custom that dates back to World War I, a custom that had all but disappeared by Vietnam. So Robeson taught himself to sew. When I uh, started the banner project, I anticipated I would probably end up doing maybe 200, 300 flags and the war would be over. So far, he's made 3,000 of the banners, 1,500 blue, 1,500 gold. His name does not appear on any of them, but Rod Robeson has left his mark. There's not too many of these banners that don't have a prick of blood from a needle that's carelessly stuck in my thumb, and they certainly, many of them have tears in them. But uh, don't worry, folks, they're washed before they're sent out. It's no assembly line. On a good day, he turns out only a few banners. It's a meticulous process. Each piece of fabric cut by hand. Each panel exactly the same. Four red, two white. The perfectly crisp seam, reminiscent of a soldier's dress uniform. Robeson stitches the 12 by 17 inch banners on a 70 year old sewing machine. When I was sewing, a lot of times I flash back to the idea of being a machine gunner. I could send off six stitches, and I know it's six stitches. He receives his share of letters from grateful families. The picture he keeps by his sewing machine is Corporal Brian Prenning from Plymouth, Wisconsin, who was killed in Iraq. To see that gentleman in his dress blues and all is a boost. It gives me the strength I need to go on with these banners. I have that picture there. It's like a buddy sitting there with me. For somebody to take the time to make this all by hand and and then just get, you know, just to mail it to us and give it to us is, is very special to us. I would like to think that uh, when you see a blue star banner that it marks that family. They should be respected and regarded within the community as someone is uh, really making quite a sacrifice. But when you do see a gold star banner in the window, for God's sakes, uh, just think about that. There's a family that's uh, given up a precious part of their life. And so we choose Rod Robeson, 48 years after he joined the Marines, marking this generation's service and sacrifice with stars, the blue ones and the gold. That is World News for this Friday. I'm Charlie Gibson, and I hope you had a good day. For all of us at ABC News, have a good weekend. And we leave you